Hey guys welcome back to my YouTube channel 2025 Honda CRV EFSEV First Drive, Road to the Future or Dead End? This hydrogen fuel cell SUV might benefit its manufacturer more than you. Aaron Gold writer manufacturer photographer Mar 19, 2024 Honda CRV v Sep First Drive is the new fuel cell powered variant of Honda's ubiquitous CRV a clever bridge to a hydrogen fueled future or a detour down a blind alley. Considering Honda will only build a few hundred examples, to be leased, rather than sold, to a few folks in one state, indicates the latter. Panda has big plans for hydrogen, primarily in heavy trucks, in construction equipment, and for agriculture. Light vehicles, not so much. Still, if you want to contribute to the body of data surrounding fuel cell passenger vehicles and if you live in California, home to all but one of the 50-odd hydrogen fueling stations that exist in America then you might make a good CRV beta tester driver. And to its credit, Honda has taken steps to make the CRV easier to live with than existing FSEVs, with a novel plug-in option that allows the CRV EFSEV to take on a limited amount of electricity without hydrogen. 0072025 Honda CRV FSEV First Drive Battery Charging Plugging in and Easing the Strain for those unfamiliar with FSEVs. They're electric cars that use a hydrogen fuel cell rather than a battery to power the electric drive motors. The fuel cell combines hydrogen with oxygen from the air to produce electricity. FSEVs have tailpipes, but all they emit is water. The chief advantage over a battery electric vehicle, BEV, is that it takes about 5 minutes to fill up with hydrogen, far quicker than it can take to charge an EV. At least, that's the way it's supposed to work. We've had a couple of Toyota MRIFSEVs on our long-term fleet at a 2016 Ryan to 2021 Ryan and we found fueling to be the biggest headache. We frequently encountered empty or broken fuel stations, and on at least one occasion we had to park the car until the stations were repaired. Station reliability improved over time, though the number of stations are uh, about 50 in the U.S., nearly all concentrated in a triangle between Los Angeles, San Francisco and Sacramento, California uh, hasn't changed recently. Nor, apparently, has reliability on the day we wrote this story, about 20% of the stations in California were offline. Hence Honda's addition of a 17.7 kWh battery to this new CRV, which gives an advantage over the Rhine the Naxo, Hyundai's FSEV SUV. Unlike the small buffer batteries in other FSEVs, similar in capacity and function to the batteries in a hybrid like the Toyota Prius, the CRV's battery can be plugged in and charged, providing an EPA rated 29 miles of range and reducing its reliance on hydrogen alone. The car still needs the fuel cell to operate at full power, but if your local hydrogen station goes down, your CRV EFSEV isn't reduced to the role of lawn art provided you can plug in someplace nearby. The battery also lets the CRV extend its battery range through regenerative braking, just like a battery F. Thanks for watching video.